Hey, what's up, guys? Andy here, and today we are reviewing over Boruto episode 109, the Steam Ninja Scrolls Potato Chips in the Giant Boulder. Now, I loved this episode. Um, don't get me wrong, I'm still in the category of people who want to actually get back to the main storyline of Boruto, but this is good. Um, after the first episode, I wasn't quite sure on how I felt about it, but now I'm fully behind this, and I am actually enjoying watching the episodes again. Uh, it got a little bit rough through sometimes, but now it's to the point where I'm having fun watching them. With that being said, uh, we had a little bit of a cliffhanger. Not too much. Because I kind of suspected something ever since we met Tatsumi, but when she said the thing right before she told her true intentions, I thought it was going to be a lot worse. Um, but yeah, this episode we get Choji back, so that's really cool. And uh, yeah, Kakashi is just kind of like watching this all play out like, yep, I knew what I was doing. So it's working out nicely. But if you all do enjoy this video, or just want to help me out in general, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel to help me out. That'd be great. But without further delay, gang, let's go ahead and jump right on into this review. Alright, so we start off with some old school recap with Asuma and Chikamaru here when he first posed the question, do you know who the king is? And we cut over to present day Shikamaru who's like, Mirai should be reaching the age where she'll finally be able to realize who the king is. We'll get back to that because Choji brings that up a little bit later in the story, but we cut back over to our companions here who are just talking and heading towards a secret hot spring and Tatsumi asks a loaded question. She's like, which parent do you take after, Miss Mirai? And she tells her, my mom, I didn't know my dad, he died before I was born. She's like, I'm sorry. And she's like, he's like, no, it's fine, it's fine. We cut into our intro and title card here, the Steam Ninja Scrolls Potato Chips in the Giant Boulder. Sounds just like a thing Choji would do. But we get to the secret hot spring and we find out that a huge boulder has fell on it. And Kakashi and Guy start a drinking contest and Guy gets one drink in and he's already drunk. So yeah, it was, it was pretty funny. We cut over here to them talking um, about this, which I feel like will be the next episode. They say here, the Steam Ninja haven't come to help us because a bunch of girls have been going missing lately, so that takes priority. Girls about your age, which that's going to be next episode, I guarantee it. And she goes out there and she tries to move the boulder herself, which this boulder is huge. And she can't move it, and she goes, why did I even become a shinobi if I can't help one old lady who's, you know, in trouble? But we find out that Choji is coming, he was on a mission nearby, and he, he walks up. This dude's walking up, and he looks so badass, you know, he's got his aura, he's all tall and stuff. And then he gets up there, and she's like, no wonder he's a hidden leaf hero who lived through the Great Ninja War, he's awesome! And you all know Choji, huh? So, as soon as he gets up to him, he collapses and he goes, I haven't ate. I, I ate all my potato chips. I, I haven't ate in 30 minutes. I can't move the boulder like this. So they have to make chips for him. Which I found alright, but the coolest part about them making the chips was, you know, her and Tatsumi were working together. And they were talking about Asuma in the room while they were doing it. And... He says here, he would always tell me, clear your mind, you're too occupied with your thoughts, which is exactly what Mirai is. And she, he tells him, you know, I think he smoked all the time as a way to hide his shyness. And she's like, so my dad did have some, you know, good qualities. And I, feel, I thought this was a very cute scene, you know, with the shyness thing, because I never thought of it like that, but it does make perfect sense. But they move the boulder, uh, Mirai gets everyone to help, you know, cause she jumps in to help Choji, and then Guy and Kakashi jump in, then all the villagers, and you know, he's in his form, and he tells her, you know, you gotta just do what you can, you remind me so much of Asuma, he used to help me all the time, 
And we have a cut scene or a, a flashback here of Asuma and Choji talking. And it was really cute. I really miss, you know, Asuma. He was probably one of my favorite side characters. But uh, we find out that it was Asuma Sensei who first posed the question, which we already knew, but Mirai didn't, and he promised not to tell. So she's still thinking about that, and yeah, they cut into this scene. She's like, do you want to know more about your father? <clears throat> and, you know, Mirai says, yeah, I would love to, you know. I mean, I feel like I learned a good amount about him today, but I'd like to know more. And she goes, I've been lying to you. I, have you heard of the hot springs where you can see people who've died? And this is where the episode ends off. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, they're, she's wanting to go to a hot spring, probably to see her mother. <clears throat> Which, I'm okay with. I thought it was going to be a huge swerve. When she said, I've lied to you, I honestly, to God, thought this was like some kind of crazy fucked up shit where she was like heat on child or something. It would have been fucking insane, but it would have been funny. But yeah, uh, that's the end of the episode, gang. If y'all did enjoy, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch y'all next time. I really did enjoy this episode, and I can't wait to see where it goes next time because I feel like they're about to get got. Take a moment right here Feeling like a sound gear Driving towards the sun With a rose and a gun Feel the wind in my hair Going nowhere I swear